All right, everybody, welcome to the Reefer Rock Review, our inaugural episode, but really not too new of, an, of a segment for us here. We used to do normal rocks back in the day, and joining us here in studio at Delta Dine, we've got Herb Thrasher sitting right here. How you doing, Herb? Wow, doing great. That sure was a throwback right there, thinking about normal rocks. Yeah. Uh, real excited to be here in the studio, excited for you and the marijuana agenda and the new things uh, happening here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, waking up today with the uh. rest of the world to just some awful, tragic news in the rock world. Uh, Chris Cornell, founding member of Soundgarden, Temple of the Dog, Audio Slave, passes away today. And, yeah. Uh, just terrible music, uh, terrible news. Uh, you know, so much great music. Soundgarden through the 90s, known yeah. as a legendary instrumental band. And uh, just uh, terrible news. A lot of rumors going on right now about what possibly could happen. And uh, well, I, I heard there was a confirmation that uh, it was the coroner now has ruled it a suicide that he hanged himself. And you know th that just goes to show you. Yeah, I, I heard people like, wow, why would someone so successful, you know, like Robin Williams or like uh, uh, Chris Cornell, why would they do that? Well, mental illness strikes everybody. It doesn't discriminate if you're rich or famous or talented. Here, hearing some news on that, and yeah, you know, uh, depression is a word that uh, has kind of come to the forefront here in the last 20 years, and it's it's definitely uh, has never uh, waved away from uh, the music industry. Yeah. And as you mentioned, you know, we kind of have these uh, thoughts that maybe, uh, you know, these artists that we all love, we think we know them to a T. And uh, the truth is that they all, they have a heart and a soul too, and it's hard to know what happens you know, within that black hole sun sometimes. Yeah, no kidding. So rest in peace to uh, Chris Cornell. And, uh, you know, I, first thing this morning, I, I pulled up Spotify and just started cranking out Super Unknown. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, released uh, Super Unknown back in uh, 94. Uh, kind of the album that really jumped him to fame and really known as a, a masterpiece. But uh, before that, Bad Motor Finger and uh, Loud Love as well, two albums that are uh, totally uh, very instrumental in the music world, uh, changing a lot of minds. And, uh, you know, we always think of the Nirvana and Pearl Jam, and uh, Soundgarden was definitely number three, if you look at the big three from the Seattle. That, yeah. You know, grunge is kind of a, one of those words, but you, you kind of use it in this situation, and uh, they were definitely one of the big ones. And, you know, Chris Cornell with Audio Slave joining the guys from uh, Rage Against the Machine mm -hmm. totally clicked. I mean, this was a rock band that can totally stand on its own, released two albums, and, you know, when you add adding up uh, all the albums that Chris Cornell uh, made or wrote on a 15, 15 studio mm. albums. Wow. And and people think of uh, Soundgarden and that Seattle scene so synonymous with the 90s, but uh, uh, the band was formed back in 1984. So it's not like an overnight success. They really plugged away at this. They did. Started in uh, 84. They debuted their first album in 87. And then, uh, you know, they, and that was a time when you're putting out albums kind of every year when, yeah. you're, when you're in it. And yeah. so uh, at that point in time, very, very busy uh, through the MTV, MTV, one of those MTV bands, they yep. released uh, Jesus Christ Pose from the Bad Motor Finger album, and uh, once that video hit MTV, it was like Soundgarden hit the mainstream world, and it was a different kind of heavy, and so that's what kind of maybe bridged metal and the grunge fact together. Yeah, yeah. Kim Thale on guitar, of course... Uh had a lot to do with that too, I would say. Absolutely, great guitarist, and uh, no telling what the you know the band's going through last night. Played a show in Michigan yeah, last Detroit. night in Detroit, and uh, just you know it, it's a tough one. It's a tough one yeah. all the way around for the music industry and uh, the rock world and uh, the band. Uh, no telling. Uh, well, the music will definitely live on forever. And we also uh, recently lost, uh, was it Butch Trucks uh, from the Allman Brothers Band? We did. Drummer? We did lose Butch Trucks. Uh, in fact, uh, those are kind of the two musicians right now that are, are leaning on, you know, looking like suicide and depression and kind of, you know, what's going on here? You know, it wasn't like a Lemmy where, you, you know, you know, Chris Cornell, he's one of those artists where we, we really thought, you know, we knew he was depressed. We've known he's had a few issues, but... He was one of those artists where you kind of thought he had it together. You know, yeah. you, you know he, there's a mystique about him. There's a quiet, you don't really know everything about him like we do all our artists. So you think Chris Cornell is kind of one of those artists that have it. Like Lemmy, you know, we're, 
not that we were prepared, but we kind of knew, you know, yeah. we're, we're there, you know. Like, but it wasn't a shock. Yeah, it, you know. Like, and, let me live a hard life. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we got Chris Cornell, and uh, you just wake up, and all of a sudden, just there it is. And if, if you know, if the reports are true, you know, you took his own life, it just adds a certain yeah. something, and, you know. And you think of that era, and we don't have with us anymore Shannon Hoon, Scott Weiland, Lane Staley, Kurt Cobain. So many of them are gone now. Oh, man. So many great musicians. And uh, the block just, uh, it's always going to continue to grow. We've hit a time now where uh, musicians are just losing. We got to yeah. gotta hug them while we can. And uh, one other musician, uh, speaking of those that we lost in 2017, the first inducted member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the late, great Chuck Berry. Yes, Chuck Berry, uh, so influential on the guitar. Uh, you hear great musicians, all these guitarists. Uh, I mean, Ted Nugent, I've, I've heard him go off on... It, it, in fact, you wouldn't have all those great Ted Nugent songs who goes back to that, that 50s kind of rock mm -hmm. and roll. He just distorted it yeah. and turned it up. And I can name a lot of artists like that, but definitely you wouldn't have a lot of artists without Chuck Berry who was instrumental with the guitar and just the whole, the, the walk. Yeah. He had the stage presence yes, and yes. so many artists uh, gained from that. Mm. So uh, let's look forward now to uh, stoner rock, what we call uh, the reefer rock here on the show. Uh, what's happening at 420 Radio and some of the, the bands that you're interested in spotlighting? Yeah, excited to get 420 Radio back uh, in the realm of the music world and the cannabis world, kind of bridging the two. Uh, been working real hard behind the scenes to get this back. And I think we're there. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting back with uh, bringing Stoner Rock back into more of a, a spotlight. Uh, Stoner Rock is, uh, is it, you know, people get tired of a, a lot of these labels. And, uh, but, w but we love rock and roll. And, and so many musicians have uh, been a part of the cannabis world, whether they've written a song about cannabis or whether they smoke or, or whether a member in their band or, or, or whether they play festivals that we do, whatever. There's just uh, many, many aspects going on, and we look forward to bringing you the, the festival aspects of it, uh, new releases, videos when they're put out on Posted. And so excited to kind of bridge the whole cannabis world and the music world together. 420 Radio, uh, my Herb Thrasher Flower Hour, live every Friday night at 8 to 10 p.m. Pacific. And then we have Big Daddy Fink's Funky Roller Rink, Funkin' R&B Disco live at 10 p.m. right after on Friday nights. And looking forward to adding more programming as we kind of get going with this as well. Yeah, and you can catch that. And You know, you want it to be radio. You want it to be on the go. Turn your phone into your radio with the 420 Radio app. You got that on iTunes, on uh, uh, Android, BlackBerry even. Yeah, so you can be on a train or you can be in a car, in your car on the road or whatever, and you can check out 420 Radio. So you can just go to the website, 420radio.org, and you can check it out. Uh, you can get the phone app, and you can you can just click play right there on the website and uh, stream us the music 24-7 going right now as well. Yeah, and you'll pick up on the latest Facebook and Twitter posts from 420 Radio. Uh, Herb's always sending out you know, links and information for concerts and festivals and stuff, so you'll get that through the app, and uh, it has the set, the song list of the most recent 10 songs. You know, I always hate it when you're listening to the radio and you hear a great song. It's like, who does that song? What album is it? Uh, you, you'll find that out. Yeah, the phone app does pretty good, has great graphics, and uh, it does keep you posted on the song list and what we have going before and after so real excited to get this going 420 radio.org and we'll be adding more and more programming don't forget to go to our facebook page and give us a like and hit us up on twitter as well and we're looking forward to be working with uh, the marijuana agenda more doing this segment as well yeah we'll have this segment uh, on fridays to get you prepared for herb thrasher's live show you just switch the dial over to 420 radio.org check out the live show lots of great music that we can't play on a podcast because you can't record that stuff but when you're live you guys got the ascap bmi all that stuff and you could play i imagine you're gonna play a lot of Soundgarden. Really going to play a lot of Soundgarden. In fact, tomorrow night, we're definitely going to do a tribute to Chris Cornell. And you know, when you're talking about Chris Cornell, you can't really just say Soundgarden now. Because, sure. I mean, this guy put out, as I mentioned, 15 studio albums with on his own or with Soundgarden and Temple of the Dog, which I wasn't really a fan of, but many people were. Yeah. That was a one album that was, it turned into a cult classic. Yep, and and uh, I will make my request for the Flower Hour tonight. I'll listen from the airport as I uh, head to Anchorage. Uh, my request for Chris Cornell's... Uh, 
cover of Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Nice. All right. Have we'll have to that find one? that. I have heard that. Yeah. And uh, he's actually played that live before, too. You can, oh. you can see YouTube clips of him doing that. And so, uh, yes, one of the great covers. And, you know, it, it definitely sh- shows the, the realm of Chris Cornell. Oh, yeah. He what wasn't range? just like a, yeah, a screamer. I mean, this guy could sing a ballad. He can, he can do anything he wanted. The range was unlimited. And uh, the future was all there. Mm. What a shame, but we'll still have his music. And uh, check it out tonight, 420radio.org, Herb Thrasher Flower Hour, the tribute to uh, Chris Cornell and other great rock that you'll hear on the show. Herb Thrasher, thanks for stopping into Delta 9, and uh, good luck with the uh, the relaunch of 420 Radio. All right. Thank you for having me, and uh, we'll be back next week. All right, folks. Out. That sound there means that's all the time we got for the show today, this pre-recorded episode of the Marijuana Agenda while I'm making my way to the Cannabis Classic in Anchorage. You want to check it out, go to gocannabisclassic.com and check out my Facebook feed at Radical Russ on Facebook. If I can manage it, if they got Wi-Fi there, I will try to Facebook Live the award ceremony so you can see who are the best growers in the state of Alaska. For everyone here at Delta 9 Studios, I'm Radical Russ. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, take care of each other, tokers.